since the, the beginning of the outbreak of COVID-19, there have been shortages of personal protective uh, equipment. Uh, the system has created a, a community to gather all the designers and researchers and makers around the world to uh, collaborate our ideas of how to help during this crisis. So we want to use simulation to evaluate the effectiveness of different facial design. We did a study about different face shield and we want to share to the world that how uh, the face shield can protect us from a sneeze. But the benefit of a simulation is that we can control each sneeze has exactly the same uh, condition. So we develop a simulation model of a person sneezing on an other person wearing a face shield. And, we, and then we compare it to the experimental data. We want to make sure our simulation model is represented well a real sneezing event. We find out that when the headband is uh, widely open, the sneezing droplets can enter from above and it can contaminate the person's face, especially the area around the eyes. It's, it shows that it's very important to have the headband cover or have a flap that goes over the forehead uh, to reduce the chance of the sneezing droplets uh, coming or entering from above. But at the same time, I think the, the result of the simulation show that a face shield is a secondary protection. So without, if the medical staff, without wearing a mask underneath, they still have a chance to inhale the sneezing particles and they are going to be infected. Simulation can definitely play a role, but for healthcare, we can come up with solutions to see how we can protect uh, the people.